Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we'll test out the new Windows 11, the new spyware from Microsoft. So now I already downloaded the ISO file and I will be honest, I don't recommend direct uh, downloading it because it's gonna take like six hours. Um, I recommend torrenting it, but I don't think I can give the torrent because I think it's against YouTube's DOS. But you can easily find it on uh, like any browser, I guess. Just search for like Windows 11 torrent and you'll find it. So I'm in here in VMware and we're just going to do a quick installation of it. So let's put the installer and uh, Windows. There we go. Not Temple OS, not today. There we go. Actually, I think that yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, Microsoft. Uh, let's call it Windows. Let's give it like forty gigs of RAM, I guess. That'd be good enough. Um. Maybe this should be good and two CPU cores. Yeah, let's go. Right, so let's play and uh, let's see the new Windows. So I do click, and we can already see that the logo is a little different. Like, obviously, it's not something extremely new. It's just they made it steady to where it's Alright, and here we go. This is the classic Windows installer. They changed the logo in here. And I guess it's everything. I can see prepared it, now. Ah. Right away. Okay, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's restart now. Okay, I'm not sure if those actually work. I'm pretty sure they don't, but I might be wrong. Alright, so here we go again, and this time we'll restart. It. Now, <clears throat> the reason that. It, oh! In case you didn't notice, they actually didn't even change the logo in there. It was the same old logo. Now, obviously, I have a product key. And here we can choose a version. Now, I'm not sure what these means. N versions, Pro N. And I don't know what dedication means. Uh, but that doesn't matter. We're just going to install with the server Pro. Uh, yeah, and here we agree that my first born child will be Bill Gates, and yeah, I am I find that. And of course, when we install this, let's click new. All right, so now it's going to install, and I will pause the video in here, so you don't have to wait for Microsoft to do all its little spire programs installation. So I'll catch you right after it installs. So it looks like our little Windows 11 started the download and it finished. And now it's uh, making us do a little feature set. And I actually like this more than the Cortana one because it feels like less weird, I guess. Cortana literally felt like very weird. Not, not, not nice. Um, yeah, that's good enough. No. It's lagging a little, but I assume that's because of the virtual machine. Now it's checking for updates. Microsoft, of course. Make your computer easier to use. Windows will read and scan this list automatically. Press the space bar to select the highlighted option. Okay. On. Oh, this is um, narrator. 
Here text on. This is like the dark theme installer. Ah uh, no, I don't want an account. Okay. All right, maybe. Make your com rest. Maybe this is off. Work. Rest. Make your computer. Oh, Make your computer. Oh my god. Okay. Offline account, yeah. So you want to click offline account, and obviously then it's try gonna try to lure you into Microsoft, but you're gonna click limited experience, and obviously we're well, just going to call it Joe because I think that's a good name. Super memorable password. No, that's the biggest password. Ah, here we get to where. This, so this is basically. Where you get a little false sense of, uh, you know, like privacy, I guess. <laughs> also, don't forget that Dynasty Data is still required only. It's not that though, it's required only. Is this to help Windows secure? Yeah, I'm sure. Alright. Now it's checking for updates again, I guess. Hi. Let me see if something... Right. Um... Players... Alright, here we go. And... So, this is how you can skip that little thing. So, now let's just... Click that personalize button. And what is the display? Um, right here you go. Let's put my display. Alright, so this is good. So, um, I don't think every feature started yet. Because I Stop like the installer. Now, let's see this. Okay. Cool. All right, so. Now I will just wait for it to, you know, load everything and also try to activate the Windows server so I can check all the features and then we'll come back to the review. Alright, so after Russian spyware for the reason with like Windows spyware, we finally managed to get it working. So now if you go to taskbar settings, boom, Windows 10, <laughs> Windows 11 actually has been activated. So here you go, Windows 11 version dev, so this is like a dev version. So what I see here is that we have some, uh, you know, backgrounds, you can choose dark. Try this out. Okay, this looks interesting. Uh, what is custom? No, okay. Dark. So this looks nice. Oh, <laughs> Windows. All right, let's click dark in here. So you can also do this from. Uh, uh, registry editor if you don't want to install like uh, Russian spyware but obviously I mean if you're gonna install Windows then you might as well install some more spyware to it now overall it looks okay I mean they're doing a good job at copying macOS and you know adding beautiful apps like Twitter um, now the good thing about this is we have solid airbag, which I think is amazing. 
I mean, this is obviously what Microsoft and Windows was intended to be. Now, obviously, I know a lot of people are going to be extremely angry about this. So, if you go to taskbar settings, <laughs> it's gonna be in center and you can only move it to left. But, you need to actually buy Windows so you can do this. I think even show it something simple as this needs to buy. So, obviously, we'll move it to left. So, now it finally looks good. I mean, it still looks kind of dumb, but, you know, it looks a little better. So, it comes with this thing, which I think is actually kind of nice. It's called the Windows Terminal. So, this is basically like, um, um, this is obviously like the Linux Terminal, of course. Now, I'm actually curious of something. Like, did we get Winges? I know they have like, no? Okay. It'd be funny if they came with... Split the current window? What? No. Oh. Alright, so in here, you can actually make a command prompt. Or Windows uh, partial. And an Azure Cloud shell. So I think this is actually kind of cool. If you use these things, and uh, that's actually really nice. It's a gun's hand in there, and it has this option now, which I think it's all nice. Now, my biggest complaint until now is that it comes with Twitter and Photoshop. <laughs> my second biggest thing that I like is that finally we no longer have Candy Crush as that's a good that's a good thing, but Overall, it's, there's nothing new to it except like some graphing overall and some other spire edge probably. In rest, it's basically the same thing. Like, yeah. So now I'm just going to show you how you can activate this if you want to use it in a virtual machine. So, what you want to do is install KMS Pico from this link and then you want to like run it now as administrator now please don't install this on your main computer it's probably like Russian Spire or something so you know I'm only doing this because it's a virtual machine and who cares but just don't do this on your real computer I don't recommend installing stuff like this now it works but I'm not sure how it works and I'm not sure if it does something in the background because it's proprietary as far as I know it's not open source so yeah now overall it's like alright I guess they have this thing which is like fancier I guess but eh and overall it's alright like if you want this but I just don't recommend it. Overall, you know what they say, just Microsoft adding a design overall and calling it like the new version of Windows. So yeah, this was the video. I hope you enjoyed and overall just switch to Linux.